Hi there, my name is Grove Sykes and I'm the ERDF Wild Towns Project Officer. I'm here today to learn about the process of electrofishing from some of our project partners, Seven Rivers Trust. They are carrying out electrofishing on this part of the brook ahead of their weir removal works which are due to start shortly. The team have been specially qualified in electrofishing and will be setting up their instruments based on the water conditions and the species of fish which they're targeting today. Today they expect to catch some trout, some eel and potentially some bullhead too. The process works by training a cathode in the water behind them and then placing an anode in the water in front of them which is shaped like a rim. This then creates an electrical current through the water which draws the fish towards the anode. When the fish reach the anode they are then stunned temporarily which gives the team a couple of second window in which to sweep in with their nets and catch the fish. The fish will then be transferred to a bucket where their fish welfare can be maintained by monitoring the oxygen levels and the water temperature. Here the fish will be processed before we then release them back into the brook upstream of where the works will be commencing which ensures that they won't be impacted. Let's go and have a look at how the process is carried out. We have the pre-processing, the processing and the processed. If you notice the two black buckets have the aerators in them, this is because as the fish are in there for longer the oxygen will become depleted so it needs the aerator will help reduce that depletion of oxygen and help keep the fish happy. Right, little brown trout. 85. Okay, let's measure this guy here. So we're taking the measurement from tip of the nose, a lively little fella, to the fork in the tail just here. So this one is 207, and we're measuring that in millimetres. On this trout we've got some marks along the side that we call par markings. A little bit fainter on this guy because he's getting a bit older now so this is probably a couple of years old now this trout. Um, but they're the sort of thumbprint marks we've got along the side there. And you see the very yellowy underbelly on this eel. Mm. This is what we call a yellow eel mm. and it means it's very much resident in fresh water whereas when they're migrating they turn very silvery where well, they're called a silver eel and that means they're heading back to the sea so there we have it a day's electrofishing carried out and the team are really happy with good numbers of trout eel and bullhead being found these fish have all now been released upstream or downstream of the site and nets placed across the brook to stop the fish from recolonizing the area until after the weir removal has been completed in our next video, we're going to be catching up with Seven Rivers Trust and Sanctus to see how the works are progressing and to see exactly how the weirs have changed to allow fish passage up and downstream in the future. So check backwards in a few weeks time to find out how they're getting on.